No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard. You see my parents out there anywhere? I don't think so. Not that I'd know what they'd look like. I always pictured them looking like me, but older. And in my mom's case, more female ear. All these years of leaving them tickets after I was signed to Raw, just hoping they'd see me on TV and show up. And now tonight, they finally will. It's unbelievable. It really is. They always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Red's going to try to beat Zelina to the top. Hold on, it's Andrade. What's he doing out here? Is he putting Zelina Vega on his shoulders? How is this legal? It's not only legal, it's smart. It's Trey. I think he's seen enough of my... Trey has neutralized Andrade. And that was the opening Red needed. This pains me to admit, Byron, but you might have been right about your prediction. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Is, is this what I think it is? Armbar on the top of the ladder. She's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Yeah, it's going to be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. Can she escape before it's too late? This is anyone's match now. Huge Money in the Bank ladder match kicking off here. Oh, what a forearm. Nice amateur takedown. Hooked him up. And a suplex. Up, up, and away. Release back suplex. Ouch. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. We. Oh. Ouch. Changes her fortune there. Someone call a dentist. Ah, oh, right to the throat. Can be ever so dangerous. Incoming. The ladder is up. There she goes. We've got a climber. Try to pull down the briefcase here. What are you doing? Pull it. The ascent begins. What's coming next? When you climb that ladder, you have to know this might be the result. This is the risk you take when you climb that ladder. Can she pull it down? I don't know about you guys, but this looks like quite a gamble to take at this point in the match. I agree with you, Corey. What is the queen looking for here? The queen suplex. Bianca Belair with a strategically placed shot. What a great job by Zelina Vega to take advantage. Incoming! Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Setting that ladder up now. Here we go. There she goes. Uh-oh, look at this. She has the briefcase in her grasp. 
She just has to pull now. Nobody in this building thinks the match can end here. I think so. Go home. Producing a trick. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Great technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Climbing up the ladder. Look at this, guys. Grabbing at the briefcase. Questionable timing of this move, Cole. Ooh, brutal body shot. She's taking it to her, high above the ring. When you climb that ladder, you have to expect bad things to happen sometimes. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. Can she pull the briefcase down and win this thing? And Cole, a win here would be so incredibly huge. This is going to be big, one way or the other. Here we go. Oh, what impact. That's not what she was going for. It better not be. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? She all the way for the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. There she goes. Hip toss. Beautiful Sambo style. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Nice armbar stretch. Very painful. That's how you punish your opponent. Not what she was looking for. She's in full control now. Incoming! Oh, and it went. There she goes. Oh, able to counter. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah. Up and. Wheelbarrow face buster! Man. Backbreaker! Charlotte turns it around. Nice move. Down to the floor. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. To the outside. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Oh, Harsh impact. Setting that ladder up now. There she goes. Ugh, targeting the stomach. Here we go. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Oh, Suplex. To the floor. Uh oh. Oh, nasty impact. There she goes. Up the ladder goes. Heads up the ladder. Double knees. Good night. One good pull, and this match is over. Getting closer. The ascent begins. Clacks her with the ladder again. And that second one seemed twice as vicious. Red is now in possession of the Money in the Bank briefcase, which entitles her to a future championship match. That was a hard-fought battle the entire way. Respect to all of these women. Hold on. Ronda may not be finished with Red. A sign of respect from Ronda Rousey. I'm sure that means a lot to Red. This would be a huge night for any superstar. But considering she's still relatively new to WWE, it's that much bigger.
sorry. Hold on a second. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Are you kidding? Any time. I mean, not that I have photo shoots all the time. That would be obnoxious, unless you think that would be good for my career. I just wanted to congratulate you. I mean, what you did out there tonight was pretty incredible. You have no idea how much that means. I grew up watching you. Well, now I feel ancient. <laughs> no, I, I just mean you're one of the reasons I'm here today. See, I have this list of goals with my friend, and one of them is win money in the bank ladder match. I know all about your list. You're kind of a big deal at this point. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, I never thought I'd be the one to cross off money in the bank because it was only a match for guys, but thanks to women like you paving the way, I did it. And now I can pursue something else on my list. Win the Raw Women's Championship. Sorry, I'm rambling on like an idiot. <laughs> no, keep rambling. I mean, seriously, at this stage of my career, hearing things like that is way better than winning a championship. I'm sorry, but did I just hear you thank her for paving the way? Who is the first women's Money in the Bank briefcase winner? And second, actually, too. Didn't you need a guy to help you do all that? That's how I remember it. That's not the point. What I'm saying is you're just a cheap knockoff that will never compare to the original. So don't even bother attempting to cash in that briefcase. You should just hang on to it as a souvenir. Or, better yet, melt it down into braces for those jacked up teeth of yours. Actually, why don't you step aside so this poor photographer doesn't have to take any more pictures of your mangled face. Ugh! The former Money in the Bank briefcase holder and current Raw Women's Champion Carmella is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the new briefcase winner backstage. Yeah, this certainly escalated quickly. Well, if I were Red, I would have taken the rest of the night off, but I guess she had other plans. Saw that one coming. Man. Russian leg sweep. Stomping. Ouch. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Gets her again. Man, she really knows how to handle herself, huh? Red's going to use her briefcase to put an end to this brawl. Carmella gains control and nails Red. And now Mella's taken off with Red's Money in the Bank briefcase. Situations like this usually don't end very pleasant. Sit for the ride through the table. Oh, it's coming. Red manages to get Carmella down. There's no way someone can get up from that. Good luck cashing in on me without a briefcase. I got here as fast as I could. What's the big news? This. Is that a dead... animal? No. I spent all night digging through the garbage truck and found your money in the bank contract. That's great! And it also explains the smell. I think that's mostly me. I skipped showering because I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. You're a true friend, but please don't touch me right now. Fair enough. So is the briefcase in the bag too? No. It was completely destroyed, but all that really matters is your contract survived. Besides, you can always just make a new briefcase. True. Well, thanks again. I really owe you one. Ah, don't worry about it. I ended up scoring some sweet bonus items from the garbage truck. Got a few rolls of wrist tape with a bit left on them, a stack of Rusev pictures that are either covered in salad dressing or baby oil stains, and check this out. I think that's possibly Vince McMahon's half-eaten steak. Now that could be worth something. Oof. Cool. Why don't you tell me more about your disgusting trash treasure after you get cleaned up? In the meantime, I'll work on a new Money in the Bank briefcase design. Ooh! You could decorate it with my Rusev garbage pictures. Um, yeah, maybe. 
We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmela destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mela is money, and you'll always be trash. It's Red, and it appears she has the new accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go DIY. I'm not going anywhere, because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match. And I still have that, thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Red's cashing in. We're going to have a Raw Women's Championship match right now. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. After what happened last night with Carmella destroying Red's briefcase, I certainly did not expect this. You gotta hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not her. No, Carmella was absolutely blindsided. She thought she'd eliminated this threat to her title, but clearly she was wrong. Credit to Red for being one step ahead of the Staten Island Princess. Now. One of the things I like best about Carmella, guys, is just how feisty she is. From the moment her music hits all the way through the final bell, she just has this undeniable spunk about her. Woo wee! Right across the back of the neck. Cover by the challenger! One, two! Actually, cash in a replacement money in the bank briefcase to become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the money in the bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper, it's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. This is incredible. All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. 
and it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. And I'm not going to say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend. But let's be honest, when I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities, which explains why I wasn't that liked and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items, star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank-and-file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank and file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background mm. where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'll see you in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of 
Since winning the Raw Women's Championship, Red has defended her title against all challengers. This is the first time, however, that she faces an opponent with the athleticism of Bianca Belair. You know, it sounds cliche, but these two are driven to be the best. That alone part of what being the EST is all about. And it's been Belair's recipe for success since debuting in NXT. But it's her strength and power game specifically that she needs to rely on in this match. I gotta say, guys, Bianca Belair has wasted little time making a name for herself. I mean, from the minute she walked in the door, the entire women's division stood up and took notice. Boot right in the jaw. That's a good way to make your presence felt. Tough spot for her here, guys. It's like she doesn't even know where she is. The challenger not looking good right now. She needs to turn the tide here. Elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Woo wee Ooh, right to the gut. Straight punch. That kick will stop you in your tracks. She's got her. Neck breaker. Ouch. Elbow finds its mark. Ouch. <laughs> Neck breaker. Oh. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. One, two, three. The champion retains. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here is your winner, and still, the Raw Women's Champion, Thumper, Thunderbolt. And she picks up the win. And at this point, I think it's safe to wonder if the champ will ever lose the gold. I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight, and then make three easy cash only payments of $99.95. We'll be in business, man. I guess I need to find an ATM. I like your confidence. Now let's see if you can handle yourself in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 184. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's going to sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now, here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make him disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till their necks get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I'll be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers. Step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off a show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? 
That's what's up. We've been informed this match has a rather unusual stipulation. If Trey can defeat our truth then Truth will give Trey acting lessons to prepare for an upcoming audition. Hey, I've seen a lot of different matches over the years, but this is a first. Acting, I mean, I'd like to see a certification because something tells me it doesn't exist. Well, putting the legitimacy of our truths credentials aside, that's what's on the line for Trey tonight. Oh, no. Oh, stun gun. Wicked body shot. And had it scouted. Oh, oh, are you oh my God, kidding right on the me? Back of his neck. Got it cinched Wait. in. This could be uh -oh. it. Oh, don't break your crown. Looks like our truth is running out of steam here. Yeah, he needs to make an adjustment here. Devastating elbow. He's definitely being the aggressor here. You better hope this stamina holds up. And now that one's countered. Oh, oh. What a Samoan drop. Ugh, heavy duty right hand. To the outside, which will start the referee's oh. count. What height? Three! It is just incredible. It's electric in this arena tonight. Four! Five! Hooked up. Oh, small package driver. Things have gotten worse for our truth. He's totally out of it. Nobody's home upstairs. This looks like the setup to Omega Driver. It's a wrap. Yeah, talk. He's got him down. This is it. One, two, three. I don't believe it. The match is over. The Superstar! Guys, that was a big win for him right there. This guy impressed the hell out of me tonight, Michael. What a victory. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight. Thanks again for helping me out. All right, on the set, the director always has complete authority. Actors will only speak when spoken to. Sorry. And you probably don't need the megaphone since I'm like three feet away. Never question the decision of a director or someone pretending to be a director. My bad. Now, as a certified acting coach, the first thing I need to teach you is about visualization. I want you to close your eyes. Good. Now imagine you're in an office ranking various items from best to worst. And then you place those rankings in a very important file. But when you come back from lunch, the file is gone. How does that make you feel? How is this relevant? Aren't the rank and file movie? Full disclosure, I've never seen any of them. Uh, they're action films about rank and file soldiers who ignore their commanding officer's orders so they can rise to the occasion and stop the enemy. You know, with badass fight scenes and heart-wrenching suspense. Oh, well there goes everything I had planned. I did think there was a lot of explosions in the script for a film about office work. Wait, you have the script? I thought the director wasn't letting anyone see it for fear that the producers of Soldier 5 might get a hold of it and copy its intricate and highly unique plot points. Any good actor steals the script. I, I mean, acquires it before an audition. Here, memorize these lines. It will give you a leg up on the competition. Now give those back to me. I need to destroy the evidence. I, 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 I mean, put the strip back where I just happened to find it. And that concludes my seminar. 
I hope I have provided you with a solid foundation to begin your acting career. And if you take one thing away from this, just remember, your next payment is due in six days. Good luck, man! Sorry, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank-and-file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's going to end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So, I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here, by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now, I'll read a line, and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Then we're gonna need a whole lot of quarters. Good thing my cousin Ace works at the arcade. Oh... More feeling and less thinking. Why don't you collect yourself and try again? Better luck next time, loser. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we want to get sweet revenge. Perfect! That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. The real question is what are they hiding from? Me? Or their guilt that they've chosen a life of crime over being good fathers? That's not quite what I had in mind. Uh, let's take five, okay? Face it. You're just not cut out for this. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck! Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? The only thing I love more than the bottle is bottle-nose dolphins. Letting you escape is a risk I'm gonna have to take. While I admire your passion, I'm having trouble believing you. Collect yourself and try again. Back of the line, wannabe. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? <laughs> That's dolphin speak for both. While I admire your passion, I'm having trouble believing you. Collect yourself and try again. Back of the line, wannabe. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins. So the only one who's gonna be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> a 
Okay, miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so-called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity-dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director. The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock? Country? Hip-hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're going to stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want to part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant his wife forced him to hire so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you here? This is my turf. Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Script with the slap, but I like it. Use that anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? <sighs> cut! Cut! That's a wrap! <sighs> Is anyone filming this? Is anyone? Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. Take you back anywhere.
How can she? Just like old times. <laughs> Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda! Where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce! We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter! Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Is anyone filming this? Is anyone? Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. Do I smell? Yes, I do. Best picture. I can't wait to show this to my wife. Maybe I can win her love again. Get that guy off my set! I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer and I'm not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at me! Okay. That's lunch. Miz, I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. 
I'm sorry to inform you that the production on rank and file four has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that friendship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? By settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off, but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So, if you want us, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Anaheim, California, the Raw Women's Champion, Thumper, Thunderbolt. If this one lives up to the hype, Byron, we're in for an amazing match here tonight. There's no reason to think this one won't live up to the hype, Michael. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 184 pounds, the Superstar! Byron, are you at all surprised by the intensity level inside this arena right now? Not in the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time. It's the better half of the It Couple. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Maurice had one of the longest championship reigns of all time. An A-lister in her own right. Why does Maurice always feel it's necessary to inform the world that 
they're not allowed in her personal space. Because Maurice feels necessary to inform the entire world that they're not as good as she is. Well, there's a humble attitude. It's a sad facts of life, Saxton. She has a very questionable attitude. There's nothing to question, Byron. Get ready for some awesome! And, and residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! The Miz is the man who turned SmackDown from the B Show to the show, a star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? A That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Mizzy. You guys are weird. This is such an intriguing matchup, but you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen because from what I heard about their audition dust-up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. Not what she was looking for. Straight Ooh. punch. Looking helpless right now. Oh, huge big boot. Rolling elbow finds.